Hi techies, in this video I am gonna cover one more informatica scenario that is how do you design a mapping to load only top 5 Mary students records to the target without using rank transformation. So this is one of the most important informatica scenario I got in multiple interviews. So I have a student table as my source. As you see on my screen I have roll number student name total marks. These are the columns in the source and I have uh, uh, same columns all columns I'm pulling to the target but only top five records top five Mary students records I'm sending to the target as you see on my screen and these top five Mary students I'm going to calculate based on the uh, total marks so who got top five uh, total marks uh, those are the top five Mary students so I'm going to send only those records to the target so I'm going to show you my source uh, file. This is this is my source file, seventh class dot csv, and whatever I explained in the previous slide, uh, same data I kept it here. If you wanna see clearly, I just zoom it, so you can see the see now clearly. So roll number, student name, total marks, whatever I explained in the previous slide, same data I just kept it here. Okay, and now I'm going to take this as my source. And I'm going to create one new mapping. In source, I'm taking flat file connection. Whatever I shown, that source file, I'm going to take it here. I'm going to select here in the object. So 7th class.csv, this is my source file. I'm going to close this one. Okay. And in formatting options, I'm going to use delimited comma and text qualifier as none and import from first row and data row is second from second because we have had a right and okay, this is fine. And now I'm going to use sorter for sorting the data in descending order. That is sorter. Yes. So I'm going to use sort in ascending order on sorry descending order on total marks so it's just going to sort the data in descending order so top uh, top uh, marks who got top uh, those it's it will be in the uh, starting so it's it's uh, became a first row Now I'm going to use one more one expression here. Where is that expression? So yeah, this one. So I use the expression and one more sequence generator transformation. I'm going to take it here because we have to generate the sequence we are not using rank right so first we we um, we have done the sorting on uh, total marks in descending order so top marks students will get in the uh, top and uh, who got less marks those it went to the bottom so i'm just going to use the sequence here for filtering the top five records so incoming fields, we are not giving any incoming fields. So in advanced, we have to do disable incoming fields for sequence generator. Because I am not connecting to any incoming fields. Save it. And now in expression, you wanna see preview. I'm just going to run preview because you will understand the logic clearly. So you have to know one thing before running the preview. You should not open any source and target files. If uh, if it's open, just close that and 
um, preview if, if suppose you are doing on uh, uh, at expression point so till this expression the mapping should be valid so my mapping is valid that's why it's given the preview so I'm able to see the data so if you see here um, highest marks next value is 1 so it's just a sorted total marks if you see so the records it's uh, sorted in the descending order so top uh, top marks we got on the uh, first on the top okay so like this it's given the sequence for those records and current well we don't require okay we we don't require this so in the target we just exclude those okay we can do that in expression also but i am going to do in the target for both next well and current well because we don't want that columns in our target and now i am going to use filter where is this filter yes okay so this filter is for for filtering the rows so i'm going to give a condition here and i'm going to give a very simple condition so that is next val is less than or equals to five then i'm going to get the top five records right so this is the condition i'm going to give here and I'm now I'm going to give target so my flat my connection is I'm not going to create a new connection so I'm going to use the flat file connection here and in object I'm going to select 7th class dot CSV uh, sorry it's my source file so I'm going to create one more target here tzt underscore ff underscore um, top 5 students okay dot csv this is my source file sorry target file in the incoming fields I'm going to disable I mean I'm going to exclude few fields as I said earlier so I'm going to ex exclude next val and current val So these I don't want to see in my target file. So that's why I just excluded and I'm going to run this mapping. Uh, before that I just want to do one more thing here. I forgot that in target I'm just going to do some formatting here. Yeah, delimited and comma and text to qualifier I want to keep it as none. Now I'm going to save this. I'm going to run this. running so I got five records in the target as expected so total number of records is nine in that I got only top five records okay so we'll see the data so if you see the target data as expected we got the data so only top five records who is highest marks top five highest marks so those students information only it's loaded in the target so if you see same 498 489 470 450 430 okay in case inverse row venkat surya and same 
same data it's loaded so our logic is correct so if you have any doubts please let me know i'm just going to just zoom out just check it if you are not able to see okay so this is my target table data okay thank you for watching if you have any comments mention in the comment section